Hello everybody and welcome to the third Q&A. The theme for this Q&A is don't worry, be hacky. But first, mail time. Also, some people have asked me for a mailing address. You can use this mailing address and uh, you can get to me. That is a P.O. box, however. So don't send me something huge. So this is the first thing. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oh my gosh, I got a bunch of stuff in here. I got some stickers from Alexa. Oh my goodness, a handwritten note as well from my good friends at Amazon. So Amazon sent me a full-sized Echo after seeing my review of the Echo Dot. Uh, so now I'll actually be able to compare the Dot to the full-sized full Echo. Pretty cool. Anyway, enough on that. You'll see more on that um, if you follow the Alexa series. Next up, something you all have been a part of. Fun fact, I once stabbed myself with this lovely uh, Leatherman. Had to get some stitches. It was a fun day. Real fun. There we go. Another letter. Fantastic, fantastic. So if you don't know, when you hit certain subscriber levels on YouTube, uh, they send you a plaque of sorts for your efforts. And this is my play button for 100,000 subscribers. Very cool. So at 100,000 subscribers, you get a, a, a plaque. I for, I'm not sure what color this is, if it's supposed to be silver or what. So I think you get like a silver silver button for 100,000. You get a, um, a gold button, I think, for a million, then maybe a platinum button for 10 million? I can't remember. But anyways, you get them for various levels. This is actually pretty nice. It's like a depth frame and everything. That's pretty fancy. Although they should... I have made Google a fair amount of money, so I guess that's the least they could do. So, thank you to all of you, especially my subscribers. Without you, it literally would not have been possible. So I remember like my first 100 subscribers, like wondering who are these people that are looking at my content and are like, yeah, I want more of that. Let me know when you put more of those out. <laughs> you know. So anyway, that brings us to the theme again of this video, which is don't worry, be hacky. Otherwise, uh, if you're familiar with maybe Guy Kawasaki's version, uh, don't worry, be crappy. Basically the same kind of idea to, to live by. So I get a lot of questions like, how did you get started uh, doing tutorials? When did you start feeling comfortable teaching Python? Uh, when did you, or how did you go about actually starting a business with Python and, and being self-employed and all those kinds of things? And how long till you started feeling basically like an expert in Python or something like that? You know, these kinds of questions are, I get all of the time. So first of all, I still don't consider myself to be an expert in Python. I'm putting out the intermediate series. That's, that's where I am, right? I consider myself an intermediate Python developer. So I'm not an expert by any means. And... Basically, eventually you just kind of come to the realization that like anything you put out onto the internet, uh, there are going to be people that dislike it or don't or are mean to you or whatever. But for the most part, everyone is overwhelmingly positive. Again, I was putting out some pretty bad videos initially, just horrible filming quality, horrible audio quality. The tutorials and like the technique actually used was pretty bad. Uh, just all of those things. Um, I was putting out overall pretty eh, content, which uh, you can actually go see. You can go to my channel, sort videos by date, and you can look at all the nasty stuff I had going on. I don't think I've removed but maybe a few videos. The only videos I'll ever really delete from YouTube are like videos that I don't, I really don't want people to find because it's teaching something just a very bad, bad technique or something like that. If it's just not showing the best technique or something like that, I don't care, I'll leave it. 
Um, but if there's something really wrong with what I'm doing, uh, I'll remove that just so someone does not think that, oh yeah, I'll just do that, <laughs> right? So, so some things have been removed, but you can feel free to go through like my first few hundred videos. They're not that great. Hello and welcome to my tutorial on encryption with Python. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of you probably haven't been following me since I started the YouTube channel. So I started the YouTube channel. You can go to my channel and, and find it. It was like, I think, late December 2012. And I started programming in Python. I'm pretty sure if I recall right, at the late end of 2011, maybe sometime in 2012. So ballpark, maybe I've been programming Python now for about five years, something like that, probably even less, but somewhere around there. Uh, and the whole time it's just been just one gigantic learning journey. But one thing has stayed the same throughout and then that and that's that if you're willing to share knowledge, people are just gonna appreciate it. So there are gonna be people that are gonna be mean maybe or poke fun or whatever, but that's like the really, really true minority, like maybe one percent of people or something like that. And as the channel grows, that one percent becomes a bigger number. But for the most part, like it's just overwhelmingly positive when you're putting out information and, and trying to help people. Most people will respect that. So, you know, how do you get started being a, a teacher or whatever or doing tutorials? Just to start, <laughs> uh, you, you turn on the camera or you turn on your screen recorder and you just start talking some stuff and doing some stuff and sharing your information. Um, I think that everyone should do it if you want to learn. Uh, it's a great way to learn. Uh, and like I was saying, and I'm pretty sure the first Q&A, basically it just reinforces what you already know and shines light on what you don't know. And usually that will happen before you publish a video as long or a tutorial or whatever, as long as as you're going through, maybe you're, let's say you're using a method or a function or something like that. And you're writing in the parameters and you can't explain to your viewer what those parameters are doing. Every single one of them, uh, you need to go back and figure it out, right? It's just a really great way to learn things and I think that's why this channel has been successful is I just I explain like everything and also I'm not some sort of expert programmer that comes to it having all this prior knowledge I know exactly what it's like to be learning this stuff because I'm I'm learning this stuff right? <laughs> I share it pretty much immediately once I've learned something I'm gonna come to YouTube and I share it right that's just that's just the way I've always done it so I'm very close in proximity to my viewers who are viewing the content for the first time. I remember what it was like the first time I came across this. And a great example of where this can fall short is like the Beautiful Soup series that I just recently put out. Now, so far, no one's really like raised the point, which kind of surprised me. But after I published the series, uh, I realized I never even explained like tags. <laughs> like HTML tags, right? I showed people how to use beautiful soup and I showed them examples and parsing tags, but I never actually explained how tags work. And you've got the opening and the closing and what individual tags might even be, the paragraph tags, body tags, and all this kind of stuff. I never fully explained that. That's something that a newcomer watching that video is gonna be like, wait, where, what the hell is this stuff, right? If you don't know those tags, that's confusing. And that's a perfect example of, I, it's just been well overdue for me to do a beautiful soup tutorial. And I'm doing it now after the fact with all this prior knowledge that I have, but not everyone else has. Luckily, like I said, it doesn't seem like that's been a problem, but after I published it, I was like, ooh, <laughs> I didn't explain those things. Uh, as for starting businesses, that one's a little harder, uh, but still it's don't worry, be crappy for the most part. Um, in fact, that's how Guy Kawasaki uses that. Usually it's in terms of startups and stuff like that, but it's just make a product, put it out there, have a short feedback loop, something like YouTube or a code review. It's a really short feedback loop. Put something out, show it to your users, get feedback from your users, make those changes, whatever needs to be changed. So with any sort of product, the thing, the thing you've got to do is just always be producing and putting content out there or a product out there, whatever it might be, uh, getting feedback from the user and implementing that feedback as it goes. And that's really just the biggest thing. I think a lot of people are just afraid of what, what people might think and that's holding them back because they're worried about what people might think. But the only way you can find out what people actually think is to put something in their hands or in front of their eyeballs or whatever and see what they think, right? So you just got to do it. I remember like the first few times I shared uh, like posts on Reddit or something, I was like, oh my gosh, what if I get downvoted? <laughs> it's like, 
what if I get down? Like, who cares? Like, it really just doesn't matter. Uh, and in turn, the only place it might matter is in, the, in a business setting. You don't want to be crappy and hacky, especially if you've got a long-term client and they're trusting and relying on you. You don't want to be totally a piece of junk. But when you're just starting out, how to get started, that's my suggestion. Don't worry about it. Be hacky. Be crappy. Um, do those things and you will either be successful or at least you will figure out what you need to do to be successful. So anyways, uh, I think that's enough for this Q&A. If you have any further Q&A questions, feel free to leave them below. If I haven't answered your Q&A question yet, you don't have to remind me. I have them all basically in a big old file and I'm just kind of going through and aggregating them that are fairly similar like this one. I got a lot of questions on things that are pretty much all the same uh, in terms of just don't worry about it, just do it. Um, so yeah, anyway, questions, comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.